Yu-Gi-Oh! fans in the West never got a proper Season 1. So, this being Season 1 for the West, Episode 3, Joey and Yugi are having flashbacks to what we call Season 0. Um, the main point, though, is look at Yugi's eyes. How he's drawn so childlike. The innocence, uh, the amazement in his eyes as he puts together the Millennium Puzzle. <clears throat> I want that to stand out. But uh, we have to thank uh, the Germans during World War II uh, for developing procedures that fractured the mind pattern of a human being through torture. They developed what is called psychic driving, where you bring a person to extremes, several hours or days of extreme cold and then extreme heat. You can give them uh, starvation for several days and you over. different personality takes over for him. The, uh, the child aspect of Yugi couldn't deal with it. So now we see the Pharaoh taking over for him. And uh, we see a quick switch right back into normal Yugi. Joey 
and uh, Tristan have just been uh, eaten up. And he finally gets the middle piece back and he assembles it. Pretty crazy symbolism right there. And um, this this imagery right here, this image right here, it's pretty shocking. After growing up with the Western version of Vivio. so just that in itself should say a lot. This is season zero's version of the events. Time 
travel was actually towards the end of the, th the whole thing. That's where we had of 78 cards and it's in two parts the major arcana and the minor arcana so just in case any scientists are watching this program thinking what the fold is not it's about tarot cards please understand that I am not referring to the normal fortune telling gobbledygook and charlatanism that's out there I am very serious about this this is an archive and heirloom uh, from ancient times, it has an incredible geometric, numerical, astrotheological, and uh, symbolic, iconic mysteries attached to it, which have hardly even been touched upon. The card that comes after the fool is the magician. <laughs> 